When Rinpoche Shay heard the songs and saw the distress of this nurse, uh, he stood up in such a manner that his chair fell over backwards and made a loud bang. He then left the room. He did not respect that explanation that in a universe where things can happen out of sheer bad luck or out of the sheer existence of a human body that is a vulnerable, a vulnerable envelope, that someone could be held responsible for having got sick and died as if it was their fault. He thought this was a really disgraceful point of view. And even if it were true, you know, to say that to a vulnerable young woman in public, you know, on such a subject, I mean, it's just a dreadful way to, to behave. So that's an example of uh, stuff that is not karma, accidents that can happen, accidents of birth. You know, stuff you're born with that you know about since you're quite young, or stuff you find out about when you're older, stuff that starts to go wrong. As you, stuff you realise is going to kill you in the end. If it's not this, it'll be that, probably, unless there's a, you know, unless it's a car crash, for example. So you're not responsible, and that kind of doesn't help either, because actually, in a way, it would be helpful to know that somebody was responsible. Then you could blame them, even if it was yourself. It's, it's a, it's a, a lot of a lot of people. I, I, I think in the 1980s, I remember um, when, when, there, when there was a serious depression, a lot of people were out of work and so on. Some kind of survey about how people felt about this and what would they prefer, you know, the situation they were in there. Would they, do they, would they prefer to think that it was as a result of mindless forces that happened to come together and cause the disaster that and they happen to be an accidental victim of that. Or the idea that somebody was responsible for this and could be held accountable for it. And most people would prefer to think that somebody was responsible for it. The idea that, accident, that accidents can happen, that they really are accidents, is that that's not easy to live with either. Sometimes... You know, either explanation is hard to live with, actually. But from the Buddhist point of view, you're not guilty. If you really want to go on thinking that you might be guilty, that would be karma. You're making yourself suffer on top of suffering. That, that, that would be, that would be a pity. It seems to me that uh, this view of karma is so not Buddhist because it separates you from the issue. Like if somebody has something bad happening, then it's their karma, so you're not responsible and you only kind of want to help that person because it's good for your own karma, helping that person. And then it seems to be separate people more instead of uh, like a compassion natural arise. I guess that goes along pretty well with the caste, caste society. Mm -hmm. you know, they're, 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 on the, they're on the downside, they're on the underside, and I'm on the, on the top side. And, you know, I can, by being, by being kind to them, you know, I, I, I help myself stay in my superior position. Mm -hmm. What I don't understand about that view of karma, among the many things I don't understand, is, you know, they, the, the idea that, that if, you, if you put up with your suffering in the right way, you'll suffer less next time. Yeah. Well, if you, can have a, if you can have an effect on your speed through the veil of suffering, if you can change that, well, then emptiness must be possible. Unless you say, well, that's because God will love me more and promote me next time. I guess you could explain it like that, but if there's an idea that the way you handle things will in the future make a difference, then that means karma can't be like some kind of a machine 
It can't just be stuff that happens, because you can affect it. You can change the machine, so it can't be a machine. It, it, their emptiness is possible. I don't understand the double thinking. The Indian tradition just does, does not make sense to me. I'm really sorry. It's just really, I'm, I'm, it's really lucky that I'm not in the Indian tradition, because I wouldn't understand a thing.